week we are finally going to be starting book two of the Bible. And this book is called Exodus. Can you all say Exodus? That's pretty good. We're going to be talking about this book for a little while. This book is all about the Israelites exiting Egypt. Because they had all moved there after Joseph had saved them from that famine, when he made sure that he saved not only Egypt, but the surrounding areas as well. Well, his family all moved to Egypt, and there was a big family reunion. And then their kids had kids, and their kids' kids had kids, and their kids' 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 kids had kids, and yeah, it's a lot of kids. And this is a few hundred years after all of that. And there's a new pharaoh in town. This pharaoh doesn't remember Joseph or the fact that he was an Israelite or the fact that he literally saved Egypt. No, this pharaoh was still kind of caught up in his fear. See, he had this fear that the Israelites because their people group was getting so big, was going to take up weapons and take over the country. And he was paralyzed. He was frozen by this fear. And he let, let his fear make all of his decisions. And so he forgot about all the good things that the Israelites had done for Egypt. And he made them slaves in his country. So that means they worked really long hours and didn't get much pay. And the Israelites felt like God had forgotten them. That they had been in this anguish, in this hard, awful jobs for years and years. And they were crying to God, they were praying to God, and they're like, God, where are you? And it felt like God had completely forgotten about them completely forgotten about that special promise that he made to Abraham about descendants as many as the stars. It felt like he'd forgotten. But this is God we're talking about. And he didn't forget them. He had a very, very special plan in store for them. And that plan is going to take a small baby in a little basket and a little bit of faith and bravery on his part. But we're going to get that to that another week. But this week, we're all talking about forgetting. And sometimes we forget really important things. Like when we're waiting for the teacher to call on us. And we've raised our hand and we're waiting and we're waiting. And then once we get there and our teacher calls on us, we forget what we were going to say in the first place. Well, in these days leading up to Christmas, and we're waiting and we're waiting, it's easy to forget what Christmas is really all about. And it's really important that we remember and remind ourselves what Christmas is really about. And while we can enjoy all the stuff with Santa, we need to still remember that Jesus is the Son of God and He came to earth in a lowly manger. Such a humble start. So, for your discussion today, I want you to try to talk about something that maybe you've forgotten and you need to remind each other of. Like, maybe you've forgotten how cool your friend is and you want to let that friend know, hey, I think you're really cool. Or maybe we've forgotten how awesome our teachers are and we need to remind them that, hey teacher, you're awesome. So share about something that you think someone else may have forgotten. And then for your God sighting, share about a way that God has done something really amazing for you. Or maybe a time that you feel like God has forgotten about you because you're going through something really hard. Share about that with your teachers and your classmates. And then we'll continue our story in Exodus. But until then, I'll see you all next week. Bye!